Okay, guys, so it's uh, Stuart here. Stacy's just kind of hiding behind the counter for a minute or two. Um, we decided that since we couldn't have everyone here for pre-release, um, we'd do an unboxing um, of an Ikoria box. We're going to open the um, box stopper in the box as well, of course, and we're going to go through all the packs. Stacy's going to get 18. I'm going to get 18. And we're just going to kind of do it a pack at a time. We know how much everybody loves to do sort of pack battles, you know, compare card to card to card. And we kind of want to give you the opportunity to do that along with us. Um, it's going to be something that's going to be a little fun. It's going to be a little stupid. We're probably going to make idiots of ourselves. Um, we'll, we'll talk about some of the cards that we've done a little research on. Um, I've got a sense of what, you know, Card Kingdom and uh, Squad State are saying are the big cards to look at for modern and standard. Um, and of course, then there's going to be all the Godzillas and the Borderless and the Variant Arts and the Shinies and the awesome stuff. I'm super excited about this set. This is actually like kind of where I've been really happy and excited. So Ikori is going to be fun. So I'm just going to crack her open. And uh, we're going to go from there. We do have two box toppers that we were going to raffle off. We'd mentioned that for all the pre-sale people. And we will announce who the randomly drawn winners are from that. So we'll also be giving those to them uh, tomorrow or whenever they pick up their, uh, their assorted Ikoria swag. And we're going to crack open that box topper last. And that's just going to be for us. It's going to be for the store. Yes, you can buy any of the cards that you see us open up. Um, you're just going to have to give us a couple of days to... Uh, to get them cataloged, to get them sorted, to get uh, some pricing and all that dealt with. But yes, these will go up for sale uh, next week. So that's it. I'm going to divide up all these cards, get 18 to Stacy, 18 to me. And then now uh, we're going to get this bad boy started. All okay. right. So we're going to start with our first pack opening. Since I did the intro to all this, I'm going to let Stacy do the first pack. Also, I'm slower at opening packs. She's like a fiend for this stuff. It's from the Pokemon days. Mm-hmm. Also, I have smaller fingers. So we're going to try and do this properly because I know all of you have a very particular way of doing the pack wars. So token on the top first. Got a Kraken. Unleash the Kraken. Well, I suppose we do the token battle too to see which one's better. Yep. I've got a human soldier. Pretty sure my uh, Kraken. Pretty sure that Kraken kicks that soldier's butt. Pretty sure. Okay. All right, so now we go from the bottom. Yep, bottom to the top. So a keep safe with a cool little owl. I've got an imposing Vanatar, or Vantasaur, sorry. Um, nothing super crazy, vigilance, bit of cycling, 3 6, so a good blocker. Stuart's probably going to talk more about the stats. I'm going to talk about how cool the critter looks like and how pretty the art is, most likely, because that's what's important to me. I will also have a few image squeeze. <laughs> so, go for blood. Oh, it's like the art of some of the, the sleeves we had. Hmm. I've got startling development. Just a simple instant. Um, if we're talking about art, I think it looks kind of ugly. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I like that. A honey mammoth. <laughs> so, roughly the Winnie the Pooh equivalent, I suppose. Yeah, uh, we've got Frenzied Raptor on this one. 4-2, dinosaur, nothing really to it. Let us know in the comments if anyone is planning on a cool dinosaur deck, or if you have any other deck ideas of what you've, what you've seen so far on the internet, sir on Magic Arena. We're curious to see what you're planning on. Yep. Ooh, Dur a turtle. Uh, Aegis turtle. He's just a turtle. Cavern Whisperer. 
looking like our first mutate card. Um, I haven't really done nearly as much research for mutate as I should. I'm certainly curious about it and I'm looking forward to playing um, standard with you guys because I'm going to build a standard deck using some of these cards. Um, so we'll see where everything goes. Unexpected fangs. Yeah, I wouldn't expect that little dude would have those fangs either. Yeah. So that is a well-named card. <laughs> Humble naturalist. Ooh. Yeah, it has I a bit like of a, um, what's his name from The Hobbit? Oh, Radagast. Radagast, yes. Yeah. Very much looks like Radagast to me. This looks like Fran from Dinosaurs, the mom dinosaur. <laughs> looks very much like her or Robbie, the, the oh. teenage son. Totally, totally, I see it. Yeah. If you guys do have absurd comparisons, do let us know. Uh, essence Symbiote. Uh, mutual Destruction. Oh, sorry, Stacy. No, it's fine. I'm just noticing it's another Mutate card. Oh, so it is. Whenever, it, whenever a creature you control mutates. You know, oh, that just impacts counter. with the uh, Mutate. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Light of Hope. Some very pretty art for sure. With some very useful instant attacks, I would say. Fully grown. Basically just going to give you some trample and some extra power. So that's that's a bruiser card. That's, mm. that's always a bonus. I would say so. Shredded Sails. Looks like another useful card for someone with a dinosaur deck, I would say. Yeah. The Squad Marshal just produces a human soldier token. I'm betting you that's going to get used in some of those decks that are about hunting the monsters rather than uh, working with them. Mm. So Face Reader. Or no, 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 Facet Reader. <laughs> Anything interesting? I'll just draw a card. Just draw a card, oh. then discard a card. Always useful. Um... Super pointless, but great. 3-1, big old saber tooth cat. Mm, fancy looking kitty. Yeah, it's a fancy looking kitty. Mm. Other than that, it's just a creature cat. Uh, wingspan Mentor. That's like someone it. who's going to teach you how to play the game Wingspan, which is a board game. <laughs> Got a monstrous step. Look at the size of oh, those geez. toes. Um, it, oh, plus 7, plus 7 until end of turn. Uh, up to one other target creature blocks it this turn, if able. That's that's a big beast. <laughs> so first, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, first um, multicolor and so that I've come across so far. Yeah, I didn't see one. Um, a Skull Prophet. Looks like it's helpful for adding some, some lands, which is always helpful. Got a Primal Empathy. Similarly colored. Uh, again, kind of useful, but not a uh, you know super amazing card. We are starting to get into the fancier cards, and just as an FYI, when we move on to the other decks, um, or the other packs, I should say, we'll probably go through the small stuff a little faster, um, just to get up to what's going to start being cool stuff. Yeah, we just wanted to give you guys a chance to have at least one pack war with us as we're going. We'll do another one later on, but we'll go a bit faster. Otherwise, we'll be here until tomorrow. Yeah. Sanctuary Smasher. Indeed. A Rhino Beast. Ooh, gets first strike. And, um... Yeah. Involves some cycling. So, again, I believe to do with the mutate stuff. Right. So this one's got... I mean, right off the bat, this one's just lovely art. Ooh, uh, Absolutely art. lovely alt art. Uh, it's going to be a graveyard cycler. It's a nice mutate. I'd put that in the deck just because it's pretty. Me too. <laughs> Me too. So a Titan's Nest. Which, FYI guys, Titan's Nest, according to Squad State, is a, a, a top five to check out for standard. So, just an FYI. And then uh, Crystalline Giant for me. Uh, just an artifact creature. Uh, at the beginning of combat, on your turn, you uh, choose a kind of counter at random. 
that uh, Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from Among Flying, First Strike, and just a few other things. But you get some counters for it. That's always nice. Can we do the top one and then... The yeah, top one and then right? just a basic land. All right. Yep. So my land is Jungle Hollow. Oh, right. And then I've just got plain Jane land, nothing fancy. I got a fancy land. You do. And then my fancy special shiny card is an uncommon um, Clash of Titans. Huh? Which no, is anywhere on the list. <laughs> I have heard some some useful things. Yeah, about the it. name does come to to mind. And then Adaptive Shimmer, just kind of a nice looking flash. Uh, Enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it, so that's a nice perk. And it's a pretty bug card, yeah. and I always like pretty bug cards. So we're just going to toss those off to the side. Just going to make sure that the camera is still recording. It's been a while. We are still recording. <laughs> Onward! All right, so like I said, we are going to start going through these a little bit faster. We don't want this to be an extremely long video, even though Stacy's going to do some editing for it. I don't want Stacy spending an insane amount of time editing. Um, she deserves her downtime as much as I do. So, another human soldier token. And I've just got, yeah, another human soldier token. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to start from the bottom. Yep. Oh, Pyroceratops. Ooh, that guy looks really cool. Yeah, Trample. Uh, Non-creature spell is cast by you. You get a plus one, plus one counter on it, so you could... Really cycle that two, three up into something. I like that the Thieving Otter could be from Redwall. Yeah, the Thieving Otter looks pretty cool. Uh, got a Gust of Wind. Spontaneous Flight is really fun. I really like the flavor text with this one. You should check it out when you see it. It's pretty funny. I like when we find funny cards. I've got the Bushmeat Poacher. Super dark. I've never liked... Black decks are good decks, but I've never enjoyed the art on black decks. Prove me wrong, world. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like he's been social distancing and needs a haircut as much as the rest yeah. of us. Well, that's a plant that's socially distanced. Oh, yeah, somebody has not been watering that. Yeah. A boot nipper. Night Squad Commando. Ooh, a not shiny Adaptive Shimmerer. <laughs> not the first one I saw of that, but the Flycatcher Garaphid is just a weird looking card. Um, also kind of neat. Um, Fun fact, giraffes actually do in real life have really long tongues. Yeah. Um, so enters the battlefield with your choice of a Vigilance counter or a Reach counter on it. Depends on the decks you're building, could be useful. We got a Light of Hope. I think we saw that already. Incrustation. Ooh. Uh, a Rumbling Rock Slide. Uh, target creature equal to the number... Deals damage to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. Useful standard red stuff, really. Fire Prophecy, a.k.a. Sauron's Eye. <laughs> um, we've got a Mythic Subduel. Yeah, Subduel. Yep. And another Monster Step. Nice. Oh. Zenith Flare. Some alt art for Regal Leosaur. Oh, that's gorge. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Insatiable Hemorrhage. Another Ooh, bit of art. fancy art on that one. Very nice. Love it. I In really a do like the art. Sort of way. Uh, Dusk Fang Mentor. Okay, I've got a Song of Creation. All right. Yeah, nice, uh, nice enchantment, I suppose. Uh, you may play an additional land on each of your turns. Oh, uh, whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards. At the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. That's a bit aggressive. Mm -hmm. And this one, you're going to definitely have to play with a multicolored deck. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going to look cool in Commander. Some of these, by the way, uh, I, I noticed um, some have Commander um, cards in them. C20 cards uh, have come up in packs that we've seen. So that's also pretty sweet. Um, yeah. And then my guy is Gigantha the Wellspring. Ooh. Oh, I think we got uh, twisted up there, sweetie, because I have that guy left. Catria Ooh. Triome for a fancy, fancy freaking land. Yeah, borderless. Gorgeous borderless foiled 
It's pretty land. Mm-hmm. Forest Island Mountain. And then just a... And I just got a mountain. Yeah. Nothing crazy fancy land. Yeah. Okay. So we hope that everybody's been doing okay during their social distancing. Don't know if you've been listening to what the government's been saying, but it sounds like we might be able to start letting limited numbers of people into the store sometime next week. We don't know all the details yet. We will share with you our plan as it comes up. As soon as we've had, we've had time to figure out what that plan will be. To actually sort out a plan. Yeah. All right. Human soldier. I'm going to log in. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. All right. So I've got a main serval. Checkpoint officer. All right. Ooh, serval. Another gust of wind. Saw that earlier. Durable coil bug. <laughs> a prickly marmoset. I just think that <laughs> looks awesome. That's fantastic. A bristling boar, also spiky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and a helica glider. Oh, this yeah, guy. basically that big old ugly guy right there. Awesome. Uh, thwart the enemy. All right. I've got a serrated scorpion. Patagia tiger. Patagia, for the science inclined, are these flaps of skin between things. That's a patagium. <laughs> More specifically for a tail, though. So, you know. Got survivor's bond. Looks like that's going to be something beneficial to the people who are uh, mm. playing the sort of work with the monsters. Like me. Uh, heightened reflexes. Really creepy looking dude. Got boot nipper. Oh, another one. He looks a little big to be nipping at boots. Yeah, that's going to do more than nip. Yeah. Uh, sleeper dart. An artifact. Another adaptive shimmerer. Convolute. Another crustacean. Ooh, another unexpected fangs. Another Sauron, a.k.a. Fire Prophecy. <laughs> Flourishing fox. Ooh. He's a uh, fancy fox. Got us a charge of the forever beast. Hmm. Got a boon of the wish giver. All right. And then a dusk fang mentor. A uh, parcel beast. Parcel Beast is another one, guys, that uh, came up for the, the standard. Something to keep an eye open for. So uh, there are some other alternative arts for it that look way cooler than that. Mm-hmm. And um, this guy is a mutate card. Yes. So he's got a lot going on. Got a Dire Tactics, multicolor. I've got General Kudro of Draneth. Oh! A legendary human soldier. So for Devon. For Marcus, for all of the modern players, that one is one of the top talked about that should be useful for modern decks coming uh, going forward. So something to take uh, take to heart with that, boys. Um, so multicolored, multi fancy. We've got a Genesis Ultimatum. I got a shiny bird, you guys. The Dream Tail Heron. Shiny. He's a common, but he's still pretty, so it counts. And for my last card, I've just got a nice mixed land. Awesome. I have Dismal Backwater, which theoretically might be a reprint. Sounds familiar? All right. Kind of. We've been going through a lot of cards because we're, as we've mentioned, cataloging all of the cards. So while you may want to have some singles... The only ones that we're going to have available will be these ones for sale once we have them all sorted in and cataloged because they'll be a bit easier to manage than the like tens of thousands of the other cards because uh, those are squirreled away in boxes right now until yeah. we can get them entered and made into a lovely digital library so it's easier to find them for you. We have 12 of our largest boxes full of cards. That is our entire collection. We've broken it down into color. And we've alphabetized it. I'm just finishing sorting. So we will get into cataloging after that. It's going to be the easiest way to do things going forward. And it's a real uh, COVID-friendly move. You guys, unfortunately, won't really be touching the cards. We will. But we'll be able to really quickly look up what you guys are after and say, oh, yeah, we got that. Or no, sorry, we don't. So, yeah, something to plan ahead for. I've got a... Another human soldier. Another funny. human soldier. Yeah. Fucking human soldier. Everybody and their mother. Human soldier. Okay. Starting with a nice uh, Frostvale ambush. Mm-hmm. Another main serval. Okay. 
A glimmer bell. A jellyfish. Ooh, a spell eater wolverine. Just aggressive looking. Jeez. A cathartic reunion. Nice. Another Just one really of Stacy's Helica gliders. Ooh, garrison cat. From a cat deck. Oh, another card for a cat deck is the Frost Links. Oh. Very majestic in that tree. Looks like one of our cats. Mm -hmm. Bristling boar. Just a negative impact on your opponent's enchant creature. Minus two, minus two. Uh, unlikely aid. Uh, ooh, almighty brushwog. Again, needs yeah. a haircut. Needs a haircut, for sure. Another wilt. Okay, so apparently that's how that works. <laughs> Some suffocating fumes. Uh, lurking dead eye. Ooh, that's cool looking. Mm -hmm. A far finder, fox, in case you're building fox decks, has some vigilance, a couple other things. A vulpakeet. Ooh, that's cool looking. Another mutate card, cloud Ooh. piercer, very cool looking. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a moss coat goriak. It has vigilance. But not much else, really. Coordinated charge. I could swear that came from a previous uh, set, um, but I could be wrong on that. Jubilate Skybonder. Mm. Got a Rooting Moloch. Uh, Zagroth Crystal Artifact. <laughs> I like this one. Archipelagor. I've got a Cunning Nightbonder to match against that. Nice reduction, one colorless mana if uh, you're casting anything with flash. So, build a flash deck. <gasps> Uh-oh, someone's happy. I'm excited. Uh-oh. Yes, yes, forest. whoop de doo Okay, you you keep getting a card ahead of me, Stacey. Because whoop de doo planes. Shark Typhoon, Sharknado. Oh. So, Shark Typhoon, also known as the Sharknado to us, is another standard deck card to check out. Um, Stacy got ahead of me, so I'll go through two. I've got Lead the Stampede. Nice rhyming on that one. And another gorgeous legendary creature. Companion creature. Ooh. And Ubosh. The Prey Piercer. Alright. 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 All right, so I think we're just going to start going card, 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 just to uh, speed this up a little bit more. And we're still recording, so, you know, yeah, yes. Bonuses. We're learning as we go. We haven't done this before, guys and gals. Um, another freaking human soldier. Everybody's got freaking soldier, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got a divine arrow. Just Cross links. Got a wingfold uh, preton, was that? Yeah. Yes. Nice unlikely aid. Perimeter sergeant. Ooh. Bristling boar. Very oh. cool looking. The blitz leech. <sighs> Super creepy. What was it you said that actually looked like? A lamprey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A wilt again. Plummet. Neat art. Mm -hmm. Memory leak. Nice draineth healer. Oh, for all the Dune fans. Greater sandworm. Oh, oh, oh. Looks very different from the worms that I know. Some heightened reflexes. Spring jaw trap. Uh, another Aegis turtle. Nice. Rumbling rock slide. Uh, unexpected fangs again. Those are very fangy. Convolute again. Keen sight mentor. Ooh, this one, um, fight as one. It's another one that you'll see in some of the promotional art that uh, is coming out through different mats and yeah and whatnot. A zygoth mamba. Ooh. Yeah. Sneaky snake. Sneaky snaky snake. Pouncing shore shark. Another shark card. <laughs> that's, I'm very excited for all the sharks. That's a messed up shark. Oh, speaking uh, of messed up. Lead the stampede. Polywog symbiote. <laughs> wow. Look at that face. I'd put that in the window. Um, <laughs> I've got a mythos of Nethroy. And I've got song of creation. Song of creation. What is that? That is another standard wreck. And then just a simple land, rugged highlands. Okay. 
someday they're going to make these really easy to open. But they are really easy to open. Trust you. Oh, I got my first set of tokens token. Ha ha ha. Oh. Time so. Now, one thing that we did learn um, is that these are, as you can see, quite thin. But um, if you've gotten one of the pre release packs, they come with the tokens. It's like um, a card I believe stock. The, <laughs> the bundle as well. Yeah. Um, they come with a thicker, the bundle especially, maybe not the pre-release pack. I think the pre-release does come with it, but we'd have to double check. Yeah. We'll all be cracking some open tomorrow. Someone will let us know. <laughs> Very true. So starting off with a blade, Banish. Another Prickly Marmoset. Ooh. Another Helica Glider. Counter target. Keep safe. Basically counter spell. Bunch of jerks. Capture Sphere is a nice uh, companion move it's a 1-1 one, one red dinosaur and a 1-1 one, one white human soldier <gasps> forbidden friendship lava serpent it's got a lot of legs there for a serpent got a whisper Just spawn mm, it's you know, a bit of an evolution there uh lurking dead eye again oh, okay sudden spinnerets i love the sudden i feel like the creature didn't even know it could you know be a spider now, this one has some very nice art to it. Adventurous Impulse. I like that quite a lot. Another Savai Sabretooth. Nothing fancy. Another Fire Prophecy. Oh, I got a Savai Sabretooth as well. So, oh. and to meet that, I've got a Migratory Great Horn. Um, nice mutate. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You know how I was saying I hate black art? Mm -hmm. The art of the black cards? Did one Bloom just Pangolin. <gasps> that one we're going to have to pangolin. keep, I think. That one we're keeping for the store. I'm a big fan of pangolins, guys. If you don't know what a pangolin is, Google it. They're one of the most trafficked animals in the world. They're very endangered and they're very adorable. Basically, they look like they want to ask you to, a, to prom or something. And they just don't know how. They're just really shy. Super adorbs. Um, we've got a Blazing Volley. It looks like that one's just uh, do some damage. It's a red card. What do you expect? And I've got another Cloud Piercer. Another dinosaur with Mutate. Uh, migration Path. Bit of a library searcher with some cycling. Charge of the Forever Beast. A really nice Lore Ooh. Draxus. Gorgeous art once again. Mm -hmm. Mutate with a, a bit of a uh, you know target instant um, return from, from your uh, library and such. There's a Grim Dancer. A Rogrin Crystal. Ooh. Just some interesting artifact. Adds taps to give you, you know, one of three lands. That's definitely a nice bonus. And then we've got a Savai Crystal. Nice, nice. Once you add some lands as Same well. Idea, and yeah. yeah, it's basically very, very similar. In Dotha Triome. I think we saw that earlier, maybe. Can't remember. Mm, maybe. Might have sure. seen it online. Quite possibly. Um, I'm ahead of you again, so do you no, want to just do the... You just got two as well? Yeah. Okay. Um, so for my land, I have the Rugged Highlands. I have land. <laughs> and um, for this guy, this is oh. some land as well, but it's the borderless alternate art for the Savai Triome. Wow. That's some very interesting art there. Yeah. Again, taps are one of three mana uh, colors. Always nice. Has the cycling, but man, oh man, is that... Frickin' pretty. Mm -hmm. Then I've just got a, a, a rumbling rock slide. Bit of sorcery. Nice. Some nice cards to wrap up the pack. Okay. So we do still have some pre-release kits. Um, if you know people who are looking for them, let us know. We have a full box of Japanese boosters. Which, if you're a completionist and you want all of the Godzillas, the only way to get one of them is through the Japanese booster. Um, so let us know. And then we've got all the other stuff, of course. We're hoping to get some cool dice in tomorrow. Some really nice metal uh, countdowns and token dice. But if we don't get them tomorrow, we'll, we'll just ooze about them Monday or Tuesday when they come in. So let's get back to this. Got a companion token. I've got uh, nothing. No nothing. table required. Oh, you want to go play arena? <laughs> no, not right now. Pyroceratops. Mm. Capture sphere. 
Okay. Another blade vanish. Exile target. Lava serpent. A capture sphere. Blitz leech. Draineth stinger. Hmm. Um, a fertilid. Another elemental critter. Mutual distraction. Destroy target creature. Definitely useful. Oh, I got another of the flycatcher giraffid. Nice. I got another migratory great horn, but with the cool art. Ooh. That guy looks way more badass than the other one. Looks like something out of Star Wars, yeah. if I'm being honest. Yeah, very true. Pacifism, which I'm pretty sure is a reprint. Totally. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but I do remember pacifism. Another gloom pangolin. I think it's a bit of fate. I think I've got to be building that black. <laughs> uh, Blister spit gremlin. All right, I've got a Dreamtail Heron. Never seen a Heron that looked quite like that. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Matt Day. This is one of his favorite cards uh, for the artwork. Nothing special, just looks really cool. Super the Essence cool. Scatter. An Adaptive Shimmer, just another one. Uh, Night Squad Commando, another human yeah. soldier. Swallow Hole. Now this I like, Mystic Subduel. That yeah. guy just looks derpy. Yeah, yeah. He's going to love you and hug you and call you George. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to weaponize the monsters. Nice. Um, just sacrifice a creature. You weaponize the monster. Deals two damage to any target. Got footfall crater. Health TNT and to get some land. A uh, general's enforcer. Can pull some stuff out of a graveyard. Nice legendary uh, human. Uh, legendary humans you control have indestructible. Ah, uh, so he's yeah. not the legendary human. He just no, no, but he makes them way them. better. Yeah. And then uh, exile target card from a graveyard. Uh, if it was a creature card, create a one-one white human soldier creature token as a result. All right. Yeah. All right, everybody. So, turns out we were filming for about 30 minutes. Um, I doubt the video is going to be that long. Stacey will probably edit it. Uh, and it turns out that the camera turns off after 30 minutes. And we realized you guys don't want us to do you know an hour-long video. We don't want to do an hour-long video. So, we have basically paused the recording so that we could open up the remaining 20 or so packs that we were sitting on. Get down to brass tacks, pull out the kind of cool stuff. We're going to talk about, show off the kind of cool stuff. And we're still going to open the Ikoria box topper. So we're going to just leave that right there to keep you guys excited. Once we've opened that, I am going to tell everybody who won the two box toppers we're giving away. And um, we'll go from there. So I think I was going to start with the cards just because I've got... Um, a couple that have been on some of the top lists. We've got the Fiend Artisan. Um, it has been recommended as something that should be good for modern decks. So something to keep your eye out for. Also a Draineth Magistrate. Um, let's see. I've got Startling Development, which I believe was good for... Being recommended as good for uh, Standard. And then we've just got some cool looking cards. We've got the Lutri, the Spell Chaser. I think he looks really cool. He's in foil, so that's always fun. Got a couple of the Lurus of the Dream Den. Again, recommended for modern. So that's going to be nice. We've got Cheville, Bane of Monsters. Going to be great if you're building one of those monster hunting decks. I just really dug both of these. They're those high mana cost, legendary deck kind of builds. But you've basically got wipe all permanents your opponents control. Or return any number of permanent cards with different names from Graveyard to battlefield so you could have a lot in your graveyard and just per just fill your your battlefield it'd be crazy um tahira the orphan guard probably going to become something i mean it's a legendary creature it's a companion could be worth something i like the look of that one the necro panther it's kind of neat same with the titanoth rex um we've got the Regal Leosaur made me think of Napoleon Dynamite. Don't know about you. For the Korra, Legend of Korra uh, Avatar fans, an exuberant wolf bear made me think of a really roly-poly fat naga. Um, I don't know how you feel about that. stacy has got an alt art on that that she's going to show you. I thought it looked cool. And I'm a dragon fan, so 
Sprite Dragon, straight up my alley. Now these guys are just some of the other rares that we found, saving the alt art cards for last. So we opened up a, a Vivian Monsters Advocate. I know there's a few different Vivians uh, available in the this set. So this is one of the ones that look like would be especially useful. Got a Mythos of Brokos. Got Frondland Felidar. Winota, Joiner of Forces. Got a Skycat Sovereign. Obosh the Prey Piercer, and I think we might have a couple of them. Maybe not. Might be an alt art one. Colossification, which if you read the flavor text is really fun. Uh, shiny Corpse Churn, it's just a common card, but still a shiny. Um, this one, I just really like the art. The Proud Wild Bonder. Just looks like they're having a good time together. Got a Slither Wisp. A freaky looking dragon dude. Uh, Glowstone Recluse. Now this is the one that I thought of with Napoleon Dynamite. The Huntmaster Liger. And then a fancy lion. Savai Thundermane. An uncommon, but again, really cool looking art. And speaking of really cool looking art, here's the alt art ones. So again, another Huntmaster Liger. Cavern Whisperer, another one of those glowstone recluses. This guy, a borderless Ever Everquill Phoenix, a majestic Oricorn. I like that one. Mm hmm. A trumpeting Nar. Then we got Nar. three Vulpakeets. So if you want a Vulpakeet, we got your Vulpakeets. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you open the box topper. Oh, okay. Um, so the box toppers have that huge potential, right? Like they've got some potentially amazing, expensive content. And that's really why we decided that doing a, a draw for the box topper for one single solitary card was a really cool move. And ours happened to be Godzilla, the Doom Inevitable. Love the art, borderless, shiny, just, I absolutely love the fact that they partnered with Godzilla uh, on this stuff. It is listed as a dinosaur tur uh, turtle. If you've got trample, you've got haste, you've got a cycling, which is going to cost you uh, one colorless and one red. And then the text is, when you cycle Yadaro, wandering monster, uh, shuffle it into your library from your graveyard if you cycle the card name Yadaro Wandering Monster four or more times this game, put it onto the battlefield from your graveyard instead. Um, potentially an interesting way to get an 8-8 creature out into play. Now, we were saying that we were going to announce who the winners were for the two box toppers that we have. Um, These so, are going to be unopened box toppers, by the way, so you get the anticipation of opening yeah. it yourself to see which of the 18 potential cards you get. So, really quite cool. We did it as a random number generator in case anyone is asking. Uh, what we ended up doing is we took the number of people who paid, who prepaid, pre-ordered prior to our deadline, which was Thursday, last Thursday, and we just did a simple random number generator, uh, number assigned to each person. And everyone got one go, essentially. Yeah. Um, no matter what you bought, what you like, how many things, just per person, it was one chance. Each. One pre-release purchase had just as much a chance as five pre-releases with five commanders and two fat packs or something. Um, we chose no favorites. We showed no favorites. Uh, Mother Luck was the thing that picked these two. And the winners were Jeff McPhee and David Lecker. So what we're going to do is for both of you guys, for Jeff and David, we are going to put the box toppers in your packaging um, pretty much right when we're done this video. And um, when you pick your stuff up anytime after 11 o'clock on uh, Friday, May the 15th, you can get that wicked card and maybe open it in front of me and show it to us because it isn't that fun. Um, and yeah. if, if anyone wants a chance at their own box topper, we do still have full boxes that will be available for purchase yep 
Um, can't think of the exact cost of that right now. It was one sixty nine ninety nine for a full box. Came with the box topper, and there's also the buy a box uh, promo, which is the extra thing. We've got That's those the, as well. The nineteenth card. It's it's one of the Godzilla cards as well. Yes, potentially. No, yeah. this is all the same. Is one. it all? Oh yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. It is for it the is. buy a box. Promo. Yeah. So yeah. buying a box does get you a guaranteed Godzilla. That's pretty sweet. Um, pretty sure it's a space Godzilla too. <gasps> space Godzilla. Could um, be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. It might not be. We promise nothing. Um, <laughs> that's us, guys. Uh, again, stay tuned to the Facebook page. Knowing that there's talk, we we heard it from the BIA, and apparently they're getting it from the government that starting sometime next week, we're going to start seeing uh, a very slow reopen. Um, it, it's not going to result in Friday Night Magic. I really hate to say it, everybody. Um, but it's it's going to be something. And I'm currently working on a way to get some play going. Um, but it, for now, yeah. it's we're, we're going to be lucky if we're able to have folks in the store. Yeah. Um, it's going to be only a few at a time. Everyone has to be still socially distanced, proper yeah. multiple meters between each other. Yeah. If it helps, basically the limiter right now is one person for every 43 square feet of the store. Um, that's not a lot of people in the store. Um, and you have to maintain a two meter distance and all that. So w- without boring everybody, we're working on solutions to help you guys and gals come back in and play. We miss you. Um, we've been going stir crazy without you. Um, so hopefully this video made you feel a little bit better. Hopefully, hopefully you like our choice of play mats. Um, I am a Captain Marvel fan. Me too. So I grabbed that because I like her. And Stacy just happens to like weird freaking squirrels. Um, just weird animals. <laughs> just weird in animals in general. So that is us. If you saw a card you liked and you want to buy it, let us know. Um, as always, we are currently running on the face to face pricing. Um, we're just not selling anything until we get it all cataloged, so that's probably going to be uh, Monday or Tuesday at the earliest. But if you are interested in the card, certainly let us know. And, uh, yeah, anything else, Stacy? The only thing else I want to remind people about is that we are, don't forget, we're having the 15% off sale on magic-related accessories. So if you need some sleeves to go along with everything, those are 15% off. We've got playmats. You can buy each of these playmats. Um, we posted the gallery of all of the items that are available for sale. Uh, so check that out. Uh, we're going to update it because a few things have sold. Um, if you wanted that dex case, sorry, it's gone. If you wanted the fancy art sleeves of the, the new uh, Magic series, sorry, they're gone too. We will um, order more of them. <laughs> we'll order more. Um, but yeah, all the old... Uh, inbox magic sealed stuff is again still on sale as well so check out that gallery and let us know if you want to make a purchase because we're still doing remote payment all right guys uh and gals we will well for us this is thursday night so we'll see you tomorrow morning and uh stay safe stay healthy and um we'll We'll play play some games yeah all right bye guys